Hello everybody, my name is Sabrina Y. Barry from Barry Times Lab, and today we're going to go through another playthrough of Algebra 2. So we've already covered two out of the 110 levels. So now, uh, we've already done this one, we've already done this one. Looks like the artist ramped up the art with the next one. Like, wow, look at this. Totally not congratulating myself, but still. So, I mean, it looks very chaotic. You see buildings in the background, a destroyed building where we are standing, a gigantic tornado guy, uh, a really weird demon that looks like the polynomial we had to factor from last time, um, some of the smaller polynomials falling down, and yeah, a pretty weird mess, along with this orb. I have no idea what that is. So, now, we have to cover some stuff before we uh, get into battle. Oh, so, first, greatest common factor factor. So, we're going to have a punching bag for this first. Just because, I mean, we need a punching bag before the real thing. So, what are we going to do? Hmm, let's go for 6x cubed plus 15x squared plus 21x. Alright, I mean the name is GCF factor. You see a greatest common factor here? Because remember the standard form of polynomials or quadratics. x squared uh, or ax squared plus bx plus c. There's not supposed to be an, an x cubed or an x squared or an x behind the 21. All right. Huh, so what do we do here? Well, let's try and find a greatest common factor first. Well, let's see. Um, well, we can, all of these are obviously multiples of three, so, as you can see, um, if we go and get some multiples of 3, then you will obviously see that all of our coefficients are in here. 6, uh, 15, and 21. However, um, there's also something else that we can factor out. Uh, let's give you a hint. to 
solve this right now. I'm really blocked. But essentially, the thing is, you have. Mm, what's happening is that this is really what your form is looking like for GCF factoring. So you need to factor out that D before you do anything. In this case, D was 3x. And then you can freely solve. Alright, what's DOPS factoring? Well, DOPS stands for Difference of Perfect Squares. So, what does that mean? Well, let's say we have x squared minus 9. Alright, so if we have x squared minus 9, then how do we factor it? It seems impossible, or does it? Alright, let's try something. Keyword, try. So maybe we can get a hint, maybe a clue at this, if we do something like x squared blank negative 81. So what do we add in between there? Let's say we wanted two uh, numbers that would multiply to negative 81 and add to, eh. all right. So let's see, there's negative 81, which has obviously one, the two of itself, and also negative one, uh, there's three and negative three, there's nine and negative nine, and that's it? No, there's also 27 and negative 27. But let's say we wanted nine. So we could try 9 times negative 9, right? So what is the sum of 9 and negative 9? Or at least 9x and negative 9x. 0? Huh, that's weird. Wait a second, it gives us the exact same thing. So are you telling me we can factor this just like we factor a regular triangle? I mean, it seems crazy, but I mean, it has to be true. So x squared minus 9, how do we do the same over here? Well, x squared plus 0x minus 9, obviously. Then we could be able to split it to x squared plus 3x minus 3x minus 9. Because 3 and negative 3 add to 0, and uh, they multiply to negative 9. See? And now, boom, we take out the greatest common factor, like we learned in the last one. So I'm going to just erase these parentheses, if you don't mind. So, boom, we take out the greatest common factor. So, x x plus 3 minus 3 x plus 3. And now we successfully factor a difference of squares. Let's go. And finally, there are some other general cases. So, um, I mean, the general case is that if you have ax squared plus bx plus c, then you can factor it into x plus m or x plus n or rather uh, you can say a and b because there's sometimes going to be a coefficient over here as long as m times n is equal to a times c and m plus n is equal to b. When a is 1, m times n just has to be equivalent to c. Alright. So, got it? I'm ready for battle. Are you guys ready for battle? I'll give you 5 seconds to decide. If not, you can try and replay this video until you think you're ready. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, so let's see what 
the rules are. Score to be 200, starting 700, and every second it takes us in battle is negative 10 points. All right, let's start up the stopwatch, everybody. So let's see our first one. It looks pretty mangled. I think I can read it. It says x squared plus 4x plus 6. How do we solve this? Well, let's put on the timer and try it. All right. So I'm about to try this. There's no telling if I will solve this or not, actually, because I haven't actually uh, tried this. But I mean, who knows? Maybe I could, maybe I couldn't, or maybe I can't. So uh, let's remember, oh goodness, I think this whole uh, rule is a bit tool taking. So I'm gonna put two over there instead. Don't say I'm cheating, please. All right. Um, let's keep that going. So now um, let's remember what we had to do. Uh, we had x squared plus bx. So that meant that we had x and x and half b and half, half b is the small side. So that gives us um, x plus half b and x plus half b. So now we just need this little piece which has to be b over 2 squared. And then that will give us a square that is x plus b over 2 squared. Ah, I get it now. All right, so uh, now we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 over 2 squared. So now we have to uh, make that bigger. So x plus 4 over 2 whole squared. And then plus 6 minus 4 minus 2 squared. 4 over 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4, that gives us 2. Basic arithmetic. <laughs> Basic arithmetic. So now that just leaves us with x plus 2 squared plus 2. Boom. Factor. All right. So now let's see what our points are for this round. So for this round, uh, we took 1 minute and 50 seconds. So that means that we took 100. 10 seconds, which means we have to take 220 of our score. So, uh, actually, I'm going on this. It is too easy. Changing it to 5 because. So, it actually took me 100. Uh, it actually took me 109 seconds to do this. Time 5, 545. 700 minus 545, that's 155. All right, so we didn't meet the score here, but we're going to average this out. So who knows, we'll beat the next one maybe, maybe that will work out. Who knows, as I said. All right, so that one can work. All right, let's try this. Uh, alright, uh, no, I need to reset it. Alright, so, uh, for this one, we just got a factor of 2, and it's just x squared plus 2x uh, plus 1, which we can factor normally, so let's put it to the side over here. x squared plus, uh, we need two things that multiply to 1, 1 and 1, so that gives us x, x plus 1, plus 1, x plus 1, and that gives us x one x plus one, otherwise known as x plus one squared. So two times x plus one squared. Two. All right, that was pretty easy. So let's see how long that took. Hmm. So since it was thirty-six seconds, I'm gonna multiply thirty-six by five. One eighty. That's great. And this one eighty is. 520. So we got a really good score on this one. Alright. So now, the last one. 
we've got a really big bad guy over here. So, oh. Ah, uh, goodness. This looks, oh God, looks scary. So, uh, three, two, one, start it. Um, three x cubed, two, six x squared, and nine x. Uh, let's find the DCF. Nine x, there's three x. Six x squared, there's three x. Three x cubed, there's three x. So, I'm going to factor three x out of here. Gives us three x, x squared, plus two x, plus three. Oh, goodness. This looks like we have to complete the square. Yeah, we definitely have to complete the square. So, um, let's see. I'm going to do the completing on the side. So, plus uh, 2 over 2 squared. Uh, plus 3 minus 2 over 2 squared. Then we get x plus 2 over 2 whole squared. Plus 3 minus 1 squared. So we get x plus 1 squared plus 3 minus 1 is 2. x squared plus 1, uh, x, so 3x, x plus 1 squared plus 2, and uh, that's it. 1 minute 13 seconds. Oh god, that's scary. So, um, how long did that take me? 1 minute 13. So that's 73 times 5 is 365. I don't know about this one. 335. Let's go. Okay. So I think that goes for a, gives us a win, but I'm not sure. So let's find the average of all our scores. And now divide by 3. Approximately. 337, which means we win! Wow! Alright, so I think we did good enough on this one. So, now, finally, for now, there, uh, the tornado's eye will be closed. They will be closed once and for all. Until next time. Alright, so I think it's safe to say we got three stars on this one. So, uh, let's see. One, two, and three! Alright, thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time.